I am sorry, sir, that I have hindered you. But I protest he had the chain of me, though most dishonestly, he doth deny it. How is the man esteemed here in the city? A very reverent reputation, sir, of credit infinite, highly beloved, second to none that lives here in the city. His word might bear my wealth at any time. Speak softly, long as I think he walks. Just so. And that self-chain about his neck, which he forswore most monstrously to have. Good sir, draw near to me, I'll speak to him. Uh, Signor Antipolis. Uh. <laughs> I wonder much that you would put me to this shame and trouble. And not without some scandal to yourself. With circumstance and oath, so to deny this chain, which now you wear so openly. Beside the charge, the shame, imprisonment, you have done wrong to this, my honest friend, who but for staying on our controversy had hoisted sail and put to sea today. This chain you had of me, can you deny it? I think I had. I never did deny it. Yes, that you did, sir, and forswore it too. Who heard me to deny it or forswear it? These ears of mine, thou knowest it here, the I and the wretched is pity that thou livest to walk where any honest men resort. Thou art a villain to impeach me thus. I'll prove mine honor and mine honesty against thee presently if thou darest. Then I dare and do defy thee for a villain. Hold! Come, not for God's sake, he is mad. What's up here within him? Take his sword away. Bye.